Well, it's threatening to rain today, so I'm not going to go far away. It's quite warm, but it keeps spitting. So I'm back on the path here from the farm. Uh, and I'm, I'm actually going to do this path side to side. Discriminator on, get underneath this wire fencing. And so far I've turned up a, a 1940... Is that two? Yes, 1942 Threatney Bay. <laughs> These coins keep finding me. Ah, oh, signals few and far between, but there's a nice little bell. Uh, a little coin ball. Grizzly loves these. But uh, you've got to have the right kind of soil and, uh, it, and a footpath where people actually walk on it and they tread it flat, flat, flat. No idea what's in here, so... Oh, it's splitting very nice. Hey, hey. What do we have? A two pence piece. <laughs> hey, another two P. A one P. <laughs> That's not bad from uh, just up there by those gates. Hey, from those gates down to here, very, very careful searching. Uh, four coins and a bell. <laughs> hey, hey, another two P. Bit of silver would be nice. Okay, yet another two P. Just caught up in the bank there, uh, look. Uh, See, just just below the step. Right now, just in case you think <laughs> my life is all coins, I get my fair amount of hot rocks, like anybody else. Even discriminating them out. Another two p in the bank lock there. I've no idea what this is playing at. It come out with about a ninety-six. I was going to give it away as iron, which it is. <laughs> Oh ho, there's my bit of silver. Nice little adjustable silver ring. Uh, very badly bent. Let's sit straight straighten though. Hey, uh, coin ball coming in under the radar about 50. Uh, I'm expecting grot. But come on then. Let's see what you got for your Uncle Jed. Uh -huh. Whoa ho ho! Twenty p. <laughs> oh well. Go on then. I love it. Right, I've left the path now. I'm. Uh, don't look like it's going to rain, so I'm heading off to do what I was going to do. So I'm going to come up and uh, go into those woods where all the druggies and drunkards go. I'm on the wrong side of the river here for anything old, I think, but we'll soon find out. Meanwhile, uh, found this curious little lead coming at about 43. I thought it was a um, snowdrop bulb, but it's metal. My compulsory iron ring. <laughs> That's probably as good a reason as any why I don't come this way. Look at that. Right, now we're in the forest. I don't think this is a very old path, but you never know, do you? Oh, a penny. It's all loo loamy. I put my pointer down the surface, I went in about five inches and it started buzzing. <laughs> soft, really soft. Oh, this is cool here above the stream in the forest. Uh, sort of 40s, 50s. Um, ten new pens. Uh, saw a little gleam of silver there. I thought, oh, oh no, <laughs> not to worry. Now this may be interesting. It's a coin ball out of the forest. Look, underneath is clay, and on the top is lo loam, uh, lo the leaf mold. It's only a fifty-five, so I'm not holding much. Uh, what's that there? Oh, I do believe I found something. <laughs> and it's... Oh! Oh! Oh, that's interesting. We shall have a look at that. It's a clog clip. Uh, Victorian, Georgian, that, that sort of... Oh, very interesting. 
Oh, there's the pattern come back. I'll have to give it a clean. Tiny little button. Uh, near where I got the clog clasp. Somebody's actually working this bit of wood in the old days. Oh, tiny piece of what I call work lead. Oh. I, shall, uh, I shall have a look all around here. First time I've ever found a drawing pin. Well, that was totally unexpected. It's either 9 karat gold or it's sterling silver. But that, that, <laughs> was totally unexpected. <laughs> uh, it's, it's either white gold or silver. Hey, I can't wait to get over and get the magnifying glass on this. Look at them things sparkle. Whoa, boy, oh. <laughs> like it. An old penny, very badly corroded. Uh, Edward Seven makes it about 1904. But oh, these leaves in the wood, I mean, they just knock the hell out of the coins. There's old Britannia there, see? Ah, uh, George Five Half Penny. Very badly corroded, in the same hole as the penny. Uh, I think I'll have a look round here. See you in a minute. Another button. Little metal button. Now that rings a bell. It's part of a cap. Um, there was another bit on there fastened together with elastic band. I put a cap in there and you threw it and it went bang. Oh, I haven't seen one of them for about 60 years. <laughs> right, I've come up onto the top path which seems to be the, the main route here but it's full of bottle caps and things uh, modern rubbish however uh, if I can find it where is it? down there down there, look hey, <laughs> easy money 2p lying on the top <laughs> well at this point my uh, I got a phone call from my daughter saying um do you want picking up and taking home now, or are you going to walk home later on? <laughs> hmm, so I chose the lift. <laughs> right, on the path. Um, quite interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, two peas. Two of which are modern. Look, magnetic. Ta da! Love this magnet look. <laughs> So, two are clad, and the other four uh, are copper, they're not magnetic. A penny, not magnetic, these are one piece I should say. An old uh, threatening bit. Now this, this, this was the, um, the only old one I actually got off the path, uh, 1942. Scottish. You must be getting to recognise these now with the um, thistles there. Um, and a 20 pence piece. That was the money. A nice little bell type thing. I'm not sure what. There's a little rubber insert in there. And what I thought was an adjustable uh, silver ring. But uh, on close examination, look, it's uh, when I put it back together, it's obviously been a solid ring that has split. It's broke. Uh, but again, Silver, like it. And then I looked up at the sky and, uh, well, it seemed like it wasn't going to rain. So we carried on to where I was going to go, which was this old wood. Not been in it before, but didn't really expect anything. Uh, found a penny. The old one. Uh, a 10p. That's modern. An old penny. Oh, my goodness. Uh are these and an old hairpin? Are these corroded or what? I mean, the edges are just falling off when you flick them. That's what leaf mold does to you, right? Oh, this is brilliant! <laughs> I love this. When I was a kid, we had these. Um, this is made of lead, um, and it was called a cap bomb, and it came in two pieces. And this is this is the tail fin, and you put a cap there here. Look in between and then there was that bottom part held together with elastic band and you threw it up in the air and when it came down it went bang <laughs> oh happy memories 
two little buttons, nice ones. Bit of undeterminate metal. Oh, this lead, by the way, um, it, it's a cannon. It's not a cannonball. It's a musket ball. <laughs> um, not been fired. Little bit of lead drawing pin. They used to go up there drawing, and they they pin the paper out on the board. A tiny little uh, air gun pellet. That's another one there that's actually hit something. Um, oh, they still must do a bit of drawing up there. There's there's half a biro. Now this nice. I like this. This is the um, clog strap, and and that's the design that's on it. I've, I've just give it a buff up so you could see it because they would be nice and shiny when they, they when they were actually being used. So that's a clog strap. Um, Victorian, possibly before that. Uh, got a little clip on there where it clips together. That's where it comes out of the ground looking like, and but it, it polishes up very nice. And the piece de resistance for the day. <laughs> Quite happy and a little sad really, because when I come to look at these marks on the back, um, it does say 925, which is silver. I was hoping maybe it were gold, in which case these would be diamonds. But they're not, they're, they're cubic zirconias. Still very nice piece, sterling silver. Um, in fact, these zirconias are so good these days, so much like diamonds. They've actually put a little um, C, in English we would say CZ. You Yanks would say CZ <laughs> uh, for cubic zirconia. <laughs> That's to tell the idiot jewelers that they're not diamonds. <laughs> Oh, bonnie though, isn't it? That's nice. I like that. Wife quite likes that. She says, when are you going to find a chain to go with it? <laughs> so, actually it turned out quite a nice day. Little bit of silver there on that one. And a little bit of silver here on this one. That just makes the day. Quite interesting. I'll have to get back in that wood sometime. Because um, although it eats the bronzes, silver, it, it doesn't touch it at all. Maybe it goes black. So until we see you again, happy hunting and look, wherever you go, the, the coins will come and find you, believe me. Just get out there and do it. Happy hunting. Bye.